This is uh, my, my love, the piano. I love to play, I love to make music. This is, this is my passion. <laughs> I very love this violin and I really love to play on this. When I'm playing, I'm feeling like, like I'm in a different world. I'm in the world of violin. <laughs> I saw the child to play on violin and I saw uh, I wanted to play. So I go to Anna so she can uh, uh, Test me. I hear a, uh, a man who play on violin and I want to. And I said to my dad, he said he don't know where he... It, it is much more than only music and only violin. It is a life together. It is some kind of religion. They learn not only about music, they learn how to be here in, in, this, in this world. The Israeli Philharmonic Orchestra, known as the IPO, was Anna's life. And then came the moment of retirement, the age of retirement, compulsory. And Anna, the shared it was, Anna and other violinists were approached by the world famous violinist Maxim Vengerov. I had an idea to establish a music school in the north of Israel. I'm an Israeli <laughs> and uh, I really wanted to help our children. The project of the project is to do it here in the south, here in Migdal. הכוונה היא לאתר ילדים מוכשרים ברחבי הצפון ולעזור להם לממש את הפוטנציאל ולתת להם את הכלים כאילו הם מגדרים במרכז. We have to, to find them and to, to support them and to follow them. To find and to nurture musical talent among Israel's very young in poor social economic areas of the Galilee. It is Kaneret Dr. Anna Rosnovsky, Kaneret that for 30 years has been in the Philharmonic Israeli. It is a part of the art of the Academy of Music in Jerusalem. Anna has taken the mayor to the Migdal. She started to gather children with the potential לנגן כינור, וכתוצאה מהריחוק ממרכז הארץ ומהמצב הסוציו-אקונומי של הילדים, הילדים לא מצליחים לממש את הפוטנציאל שלה. And Unlike the other violinists, Anna refused to leave. She told me she would use her retirement pension for as long as she could. She found such fulfillment in her new work. The children wanted to be famous one day and that they could help their parents. It became their dream, and Anna's dream also was being fulfilled. אנחנו רואים את הפרויקט לא רק לילדים עצמם, אלא שכל היישובים מאיפה שבאים הילדים ניזונים ומתפתחים ונחשפים לכל העולם התרבותי של המוזיקה הקלאסית. הילדים הם בעצם שגרירים של התרבות הזאת. במשפחות, בשכונות וביישובים שלנו. At the Mahnas, we watch Anna teaching. She's very demanding. אני לא עושה בעלי פה, תקטע זה, אני לא יודעת ב... 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 אני לא יודעת 
we've been to the Galilean village of Migdal and taken friends and family to the community centre, which is called the Matnas, where the school is situated. The Matnas is devotedly run by Rami Rabinovich, who is an Olay Hadash from Argentina. So four years have passed since that initial beginning. Each day is still a struggle to keep going. But each day brings rich, rich rewards. Uh, this group is supported only by private, uh, private organizations. I have to say, in, in this context, I have to say thank you for Silicon Group and, and uh, Schusterman Foundation from America, who follow us already four years, but it is not enough. We have to struggle every year, every half of year, for to keep it, and it is really the hardest part of my job here. Piano is my life. I, I love to play, I love to give the music to other people. Say to my parents I want to play piano. My, my teacher tell me about this project and it is, took me to it. And I started to, to play here piano and I'm happy now.